Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage, Canesham today, picked up a couple of vapes, Lost Mary and what's the other one called, Gummy Bear, Hayati Pro Max Gummy Bear. One of those ones with the big batteries in that I particularly like. It's obviously been smashed a bit, but I think it's still good enough. Add that to my pile. Okay. Um, bought that in Poundland. Um, I just thought I'd put it in my holiday bag. So I've got a pair of headphones in the bag when we go on holiday. I will try it out before we actually take it away, but I was looking at it. And it looks like it folds particularly small, so it should fit into travel bag quite quite easily. I suppose we could take it out of the box and have a look, couldn't we? Okay, so they're supposed to fold in. Whoa. Come on, are you going to fold in or are you going to break? That's scary. I don't want to break them straight away. Oh, there we go. They do fold in. Just take a bit more pressure than I really wanted to use. Okay. Yeah, so they fold flat. Or, well, relatively flat. USB port. Oh, micro SD card. I suppose you can play your own music straight in it. I have to read the instructions. Forwards and backwards, on and off. M mute perhaps. Oh, I might have to give them a proper, um, a proper test to see what they do. Or alternatively, I could read the instructions. I mean, nobody likes reading instructions, but uh, power on off, volume go next. Volume go previous, play pause is in the middle, Bluetooth and FM mode switch. FM. So it's wireless as well, uh, as in um, picks up radio stations, does it? Yeah, pick up FM radio stations. I never listen to the radio. The only time the radio comes on in the car is when it's got a um, traffic message on it. Other than that, it's not switched on. All right. Oh, we might have to do a proper check on it then. Comes with a little USB lead to charge it up as well. All right. I might do a, a review of that later. Cost me cost me eight pounds in uh, Poundland. Right now, charity shop stuff proper. <laughs> radio control car. I couldn't avoid buying it. It was a pound. Yeah, there we are. Pound. Dorothy House charity shop. I put batteries in it. Obviously, it didn't have a controller with it, but it does work on this one. It's not a flyer. It doesn't go particularly fast, although I suspect we could try putting... Um, Lithium ion batteries in there or something. Hete Toys Factory, H E T A I Toys Factory, Rongfu Industrial Park, Pengjiang, Shanghai District, Shantou City, Guangdong, China. Batch code 21 stroke 05. Model number 60. 599B, 27 megahertz. Oh, we'll give it a little run at the end just to demonstrate it does actually run and it actually matches this controller, which is a random controller. Next, I've been doing quite a few of these Lego clone type kits. Spotted this one was 99 pence, which is the same sort of price as I'd have paid in Poundland. 
And I did peek inside and it does look like it's never actually been opened. So yeah, that'll go in the car for one of those things to build while I'm waiting for Nanny. Only takes about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe, depending on whether I get it right first time. And it does say two in one. So you can build it two different ways. Okay. So yeah, I thought 99 pence, that'd be okay. Okay. And then this, I spotted it and I thought, really? I used to do a series on cheap electronic kit kits off eBay that I used to pay. I think I had a limit of about two pounds I would pay, and that included delivery from China. Did quite a few of them, and then, well, I sort of run out of variation. I'd done all the ones that were available at that sort of price range, and now the prices have gone up. They've sort of doubled at least. So I spotted this, 99 pence. This one made in Hong Kong, designed in Europe, made in Hong Kong. Velaman high quality kit. MK135, whatever that is. Electronic decision maker. Right, it looks like everything's in there. And it looks like I can actually open it. So, 9 volt power supply. That's the parts. It's actually got a little um, socket set for the chip to go in, so you don't solder the chip directly. Push button. Oh, look. Full diagram and assembly instructions. Oh, we might do that then. Not just now, but that'll be something for a rainy night to sit in here and solder it up. Through hole components. A little bit easier than the surface mount ones that I've done a couple of. Prefer through all it's easier for me to handle yeah we should be able to work that one out i like that just when i started doing youtube back in whatever it was 2013 actually i started a little bit earlier than that but Current channels, 2013, it's the first ones. Um, I think uh, Maplins was still about, which used to do a lot of electronic stuff. And then they went bust. When I was a youngster, well, I say youngster, a young man, Getting into computing and that sort of thing, Tandy was, which was the British version or British brand branch of Radio Shack, was still about. Anyway, everything's on you on eBay now, or AliExpress, or I don't know if, whether that new. Is it Timu? I don't know if they do electronic kits. I haven't got involved in Timu. Anyway, so yeah, that'll be something to do. Uh, what I've got left to do, just show that the little car runs around. So I'll move the camera. Okay, wide screen. Forwards, backwards, right, 
left. So say it's not spinning the tires or anything, it's not super powerful. Oh, one thing I meant to show, it's got little, what they are, clips on the top for taking the body off. We'll just have a look at that. So back on the table. It's a little, you it don't want to come off though. There you go. So quick release of the body shell. Rear, can't really call it suspension, but flexibility. Just looking, it looks like a fairly old style receiver, well, which doesn't want to come off that easily. Oh, I thought that would have popped off. Why don't you want to come off? Just have little clips on the side. Oh, that is very nice inside. Plug ended motors. Yeah, old style radio with a trimmer on it. I won't do a full disassembly on it now, just that's far enough for now. I might do a disassembly, full disassembly at some time. It's clearly an ordinary motor on the front there for the steering it's not magnetic and obviously it's got motor and gearbox in the back there with this flexible bit to help it on corners i think it's a nice little car it caught my eye and i don't often buy radio control cars nowadays looks nice Thanks for watching. You'll always find more information down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. You might like to subscribe just here. Over here is my latest video on my channel. And down below is a playlist related to what you've just been watching. Thanks again for watching.